What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Hard Gain and Fitness. I'm Jalan. This is the Hard Gain and Transformation Series, and in this vlog, I'm gonna be telling you all about my weight gain story. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is vlog number six. Uh, this is week number. Hey, how come I can never remember this? Last week, I don't know, man. Just got on the scale. Scale put me at 167.4. So gained another pound. But as you can see, the weight is coming a little bit slower than it was in the beginning. As I begin to gain more weight, I'm gonna have to adjust uh, for my macros and my calories and whatnot. So that way I can continue to put on some weight. I'm thinking about waiting probably till I hit the 10 pound mark, which is 169. So probably in about two more weeks. Once I hit that point, I'm gonna readjust, switch my calories, um, add some more food to my weight, to my weight plan. Add some more food to my meal plan. Meal number one right here is my smoothie. I love starting off my day with a smoothie, real easy way to get the carbs in and start off the day with a good amount of energy. All right, y'all, so meal number two, chicken and rice, and some pecans. But now on to the point of today's video. If you watch my trailer, I talk about how I went from 129 to 160. Here's the story. First off, a little bit about me, which I feel like I should have did this like forever ago, but just a little bit about myself. My name is Jalon Scott. I'm originally from Fort Wayne, Indiana, born and raised. Um, I'm married, been married for five years, two kids, three-year-old and a 10-year-old. I'm 27 years old. I feel like I'm about 52 and a half. Okay, so enough of that. Anyways, the story. So, when I was in high school, as a matter of fact, this coming up, I was always skinny, like, always. I'm talking about starting from when I was her age, who just walked past the screen, up until even now, I mean, I'm still slim. But when I was younger, uh, like, I mean, I'm talking, I was so skinny that my mom would let me play football in Metro, which is like, it's like AAU for football back in Indiana, but, she wouldn't let me play Metro because she felt like I was too small. When I graduated high school, I was 130 pounds, like soaking wet. After high school, I went to Purdue University, funked out of Purdue. While I, was, while I was at Purdue, I weighed about 140. After I left Purdue, went back to Fort Wayne, stayed there for about a year. And while I was in Fort Wayne, that was when I lost like a ton of weight because I was eating. I started working. And if you watched my first vlog, I told that story about when I was working with my dad. That was when I realized I was 129 pounds. Hold on. I'll finish the story in just a second. Cause you know what time it is. It's time to grow.
Alright y'all, I'm back from the gym. It was a good workout. Legs is on fur. You dig what I'm saying? Legs on fur, boy. Not fire, on fur. Anyways, I got meal number three, post-workout meal, chicken and rice. Same thing I had earlier. I forgot my pecans, but I will be eating those with this meal as well. And I got some water. But back to the story. So like I was saying before I left to go to the gym, I basically figured out that I was 129 pounds, didn't even know. Like the clip from the first vlog show, if you went back and watched it, um, people was telling me that it looked like I had lost weight. So I put in work, man. We, we had just got a Planet Fitness, like right after I found that out. And I was super excited because I was like, I can finally start working out again. So, uh, and there was other gyms there too. I, had, I was living in Anderson, Indiana at the time and I was just completely broke. Like I had just gotten married and um, just didn't have enough money to do anything. Like I barely had enough money to go out to eat at Applebee's. Like I, I remember having to check the bank account to see if I had enough money in there before I could go to Applebee's. It ended up to still have gas and stuff to go to work. So it was just a complete struggle. I couldn't afford to pay for a gym. So they opened up Planet Fitness and it was like a dollar to join for the first month or two. And then it was 10 bucks a month after that. And I was like, well, I'm sure I can swing that. You know what I mean? 10 bucks a month wasn't. It was still kind of pushing it, you know what I mean? But I could swing it. So I did that. And then I really started discovering like, uh, that. that's when I found out who Jim Stepani was. That's when I found out who Steve Cook was. And a lot of other big names like that who helped a lot of people out on YouTube and other platforms. And I figured out, that's when I discovered what bodybuilding.com was. And that's when they had the free workout plans, like free, now they cost $8.99. All those workout plans that's on there used to be free. And I was downloading those, I was watching videos, reading articles, asking people questions, and I was just hungry, man. And it was about four, no, I say five. It, it was between five and six months later that I went from 129 to 160. I remember I got on the scale and it was 160. And uh, man, it was hard. I mean, it was a lot of eating, learning how to cook different things. I had never made rice before in my life until that point. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> never made rice before. I was learning a lot, man. And um, I was enjoying the process, but it was really hard. So after that uh, five or six month time span, when I made the gains, I pretty much stopped. Like, I just quit. And then, when that happened, I was probably, I was about 21. Right now, like I said earlier, I'm 27. So, you're talking about a six year time span. And in between that time span, I fluctuated between 150 and 160. I never got over, the most I ever weighed before was 164, 165 ish. Like, ever in my life. Never made, ne I've never weighed more than that. Uh, so for me to be at 167 now is an accomplishment. It's still it's still not a lot, uh, but I'm making progress again and I'm moving at the same pace that I was six years ago. So even though it was a long time ago, um, I've still known what to do in order to put on weight. I've just never actually put forth the effort that I need to to really uh, take care of business and get it done like I'm doing now. So. I figure, hey, when I start a YouTube channel, I know how to make videos. I've been making videos since high school, so. And like I said, I'm 27, I'm an old man, you know? Like Rusty, I'm old, bro. <laughs> I graduated in 09, old. <laughs> but uh, I was like, I know how to make videos. I started another YouTube channel previously with my family called The Real Scotch. And uh, I was like, why not just start a YouTube channel about it? It'd be a great way for me to practice making more videos. And it'd also be a great way for me to be able to actually document it this time and look back on it later and be able to see it. I'll be able to help out other people, you know what I'm saying? One of the biggest things that I wanna do in life is just help other people. And not necessarily in the fitness realm, but just in general. And, 
and it'll hold me accountable to actually get it done because since I'm making these videos, you know, come way day, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to get on the scale and then ain't made no progress. I'm trying to show you guys that I know how to do it. I know how to get it done and I know um, what it takes to get there. So that way you guys have faith in me and I'm giving you advice, giving you tips. So that way you know, hey, this dude knows what he's talking about. I need to follow his advice and I can make the same type of progress. So I've been putting in the work, man, getting it done and, uh, that's really my story, man. Started, you know, about six or seven years ago. Made some progress, some quick progress, put in some work, and then just gassed out after about four months. Or, sorry, after about five to six months, just gassed out. And here we are, man. Six years later, I decided to, hey, take the bull by the horns and get it done. Like, I'm 27 years old, still weighing 160. I'm 167 now, but still, still weighing 160 pounds. Like, that's a shame. Baby. Oh. Bam. 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 Time to make them games, boy. So, anyways, yeah, that's my story, man. Um, comment down below. Let me know what your story is, real quick and real concise, because I know most people don't like type. I know people don't like typing, especially on YouTube. Your attention span is very short because there's so many other things trying to get your attention. So. But comment down below, let me know real quick what your story is. Uh, you know, how much you weigh right now, how many gains you've made in the past, however long. Let me know, man. Uh, but I'm going to get the meal number three, man. I got to eat because uh, I'm tired. You know, I got to get that. You got to take advantage of that golden hour. You, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all at the next meal, meal number four. You know, usually I close the video out at meal number four because my... My kids go to bed at nine. So, anyways, I'll see y'all at the next meal, meal number four, man. All right, y'all. So, uh, <clears throat> I don't have meal number four cooked. It's uh, eight thirty right now, but I do got all the food laid out. I'm getting ready to meal prep for the next couple of days. Um, and I do got my eggs right here. Uh, with, of course, my rice cakes and the bread. You know, I eat two egg sandwiches every day. So I'm getting ready to throw that together after I go ahead and throw this chicken inside the oven. And uh, that'll be my fourth meal. Then, of course, the last meal, or if you want to call it a meal. I guess it's more like a snack, technically. But that Kashi Gongli cereal. Uh... And that'll be everything for the day, man. Hang on, let me turn this camera around. Because like I was saying, man, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. Like this video. Even if you didn't like it, still like the video. Don't dislike my video, man. Hit up the comment section, all that good stuff. Follow me on the social media. Hit up my Instagram. Uh, I don't have much on there right now, but give it time. You know, it's coming. We're still in the beginning phases of all of this. So, uh, you know, the game's still coming, man. They're going to keep on coming because I'm going to keep on putting in that work. I'm going to keep on vlogging it, documenting it for you guys. Uh, comment down below and let me know um, what kind of tips or what questions you guys have. Let me know what you guys want to see in future vlogs or even in tip videos. Uh, just give me a good idea of what you guys are interested in or, or, what you have, uh, or what you have questions about. As always, man, you already know who it is, man. Jalama Hargan and Fitness helping you make the gains, defeat yourself, and crush that scale. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.